Are you struggling with chronic fatigue? Do you feel like you're not able to tackle your day with energy and enthusiasm, no matter how much sleep you get? If so, you're not alone. This is one of the most common problems people are facing nowadays. And while it's something you might expect to happen when you are in your 60s or 70s, it's also affecting young people in their 20s and 30s. I want to share some of the things that I've learned about how to combat chronic fatigue. And while you might be tempted to click away because you've heard it all before, it's sometimes the basics that matter the most. Let's start by discussing the prevalence of chronic fatigue. It's not uncommon to hear people complain about feeling tired all the time, no matter how much sleep they get. In fact, this feeling is so widespread, it has become a social norm. But why is it happening? While some might associate it with aging, it's not just older adults who suffer from chronic fatigue. Young people in their 20s and 30s and even teenagers are reporting feeling chronically tired and lacking energy all the time. The lack of energy can have a significant impact on your daily life. It can make it challenging for you to focus on a task, be patient with loved ones, or even complete basic work. Unfortunately, many people fall into the trap to treat things sleep, exercise, and diet as a mere checklist and thinking they're doing everything right, but still feeling tired. And this approach leads people to seek for quick fix solutions such as magic pills or other remedies rather than focusing on the basics. However, the truth is that the fundamentals of sleep, exercise, and diets are crucial to combating chronic tiredness. Getting enough quality sleep, eating a balanced diet and engaging in regular physical activities are all key to boosting your energy levels and feeling more alert throughout the day. I want to share four tips with you that helped me overcome my lack of motivation and energy and help me to improve my overall well-being. Step one is stop misusing caffeine. While many people believe that the effects of caffeine only last a few hours, the truth is that caffeine has a half-life of five to seven hours. That means that if you have a cup of coffee at 4 p.m., there's a good chance that 50% of the caffeine is still in your body and in your systems by 11 p.m. This can seriously inhibit your body's ability to get the deep and restorative sleep that it needs. One thing that I've done to combat this is to stop drinking coffee past noon instead of focused on getting my caffeine fix in the morning. This allowed my body enough time to metabolize the caffeine before bedtime. Which brings us to tip number two, which is getting enough sleep. Another important factor to combating chronic tiredness is to get enough quality sleep. While the recommended amount of sleep for an adult is anywhere between 7 to 9 hours, it's important to understand and note that everyone's sleep needs are different. Some people might require more or less sleep than others, and therefore it's important for you to figure out your ideal bedtime by experimenting different bedtimes and wake-up times to figure out which one works best for you. Some additional tips here that help me to optimize my bedtime is to keep my room cool and dark, and also avoiding screens and stimulating activities just before I go to bed. I also practice relaxation techniques such as meditating or deep breathing was something that helped me a lot which allowed my body to regulate its stress and anxiety levels and just calm down. I mean tip number three which is focusing on your diet. This tip is easier said than done but it plays a crucial role on how you feel throughout your day. Eating a balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean protein can help you maintain constant energy levels throughout the day and it's important to avoid processed and sugary foods as they can cause energy crushes and leave you feeling sluggish. Additionally, be sure to stay hydrated and drink plenty of water throughout the day. Tip number four, which is my favorite tip for you, is incorporate regular exercise. It goes without saying that exercise boosts your energy levels and motivation throughout the day when you need it, but it also drains your body of the excess energy that keeps you awake at night. Whether it's a morning jog, a yoga class, or weightlifting sessions, find a form of exercise that you enjoy and make it a regular part of your routine. While I would recommend to get at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise at least three times a week under your belt, even 30 minutes daily exercise will have an immense impact on your sleep quality, reduce stress and anxiety and improve your energy levels. Please remember that a rapid and radical change in your lifestyle is going to demotivate you. Therefore, it's important to make small and sustainable changes in these areas which will help you to improve your overall well-being. I hope these four tips will help you like they help me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also watch my next video on money habits that keep you poor or how to beat the competition and stay ahead of most people. See you there and peace out.